car viewers and welcome to a video looking at the new Formula E car which was added to Forza Motorsport 5 this week uh, for a special challenge. Uh, Dan Greenwalk mentioning it on stage at the Microsoft Gamescom press conference. So uh, we've been sent this video in by Cody who's been having a few runs on it. He's put together this multicam video for us racing around Long Beach. Probably the most appropriate circuit for the car in the game. It gives us a chance to see the visuals, look at the handling and look at the series as well. At Formula E we've been following this over the past 18 months, its development. Uh, the first race will be later, or I'll say later this year, it'll be next month in uh, China. And we'll be running the first race, of course it'll run in 10 cities around the world and they'll be using two cars per race. Drivers will be changing cars because the batteries only last for a certain amount of time and the big thing setting back these cars at the moment is battery technology. But uh, either way, it will certainly be challenging to drive. There'll be lots of torque in these cars, lots of power, and the cars will be improving year in, year out as well. Now, they won't be making a very loud noise, but that's the sound of the future. It's the sound of new technology uh, and electric energy. And it's going to be interesting to see how the series takes off. And where better than to try a trial in something like Forza Motorsport 5, get people behind the wheel, see what it's all about. So looking at the handling then, uh, it's suffering a bit of oversteer here and there, needing some wheel correction. Good movement in suspension, but overall it seems to be handling well for Cody here. Though struggling in the slow bits there and goes a bit deep into the hairpin. Uh, the, these cars don't have tons of downfalls, so it's interesting to see how they've covered the front wheels to improve aerodynamic efficiency over the front of the car. No doubt uh, wanting to uh, add more overtaking to the series by re removing some of the details in terms of downforce that caused turbulent air but uh, either way it's a good addition to Forza and it's a good addition for uh, Formula E as well uh, I haven't tested this car myself I'm gonna speak to Cody I haven't spoke to him since he's recorded this to get these direct feedback on the car but I would like your feedback as well if you've been racing with this car on Forza 5 do let me know uh, how you felt about it so far how it handles is it fun to play uh, that's the main thing and I'll be testing this myself probably with a wheel in the next couple of weeks I'm working on Gamescom content at the moment. I've been at Gamescom, I've got back now and I'm just going through a whole heap of content that we're going to have coming up on the channel in the next few days. Lots of great racing action that you can look forward to including some Forza Horizon 2 content as well. But uh, that's it from me. I'm going to leave you with these last few corners and there'll be more from me very soon.